Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Westwise, the family quiz about your town and region. Introduced by Ian Brass. Yay! Yay! Oh. Good evening and welcome to Westwise, our West Country fun quiz in which we feature questions about the West Country with contestants from the West Country. Our first team for this evening is from Barnstable, featuring first Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me a bit about yourself. <laughs> We're in year 11. I'm doing my GCSEs at the park school. Oh, working hard at those. Well, not really. <laughs> oh, fine. You better work a little bit harder for us this evening, is all I can say. Uh, second team member, is that Jonathan? Jonathan, I have, um, I'm an architect in private practice with a concern for the repair of old buildings and act with English heritage with interest in steam railways and you photography and local history and look after old relics yes you and japanese have a look over me a bit later on yes you do both <laughs> of them by the same <laughs> and the final team member for the basketball team is mary tell yes. me a bit about yourself well i'm a housewife and i write novels you write novels yeah you clever lot in the basketball team oh. this evening <laughs> yeah. Basketball against Plymouth this evening from one coast to the other and in the Plymouth team first it's Bill. Tell me a bit about yourself Bill. Hello, good evening. Um, I'm a retired factory manager and now I have a small business letting holiday flats. Hmm. Uh, the phone ringing at this very moment then. I, I hope at it is. Yeah. <laughs> the answer machine is busy I hope. <laughs> Right, the first member of the Plymouth team. Second member is Paul. Evening, Paul. Tell me Good a bit evening. about yourself. I was born in Plymouth. Um, I leave people in, on Dartmoor in guided walks, and I'm interested in local history. Oh, guided walks? Yes. What's, what's the smallest walk? Oh, two, three miles. Oh, that's this one. <laughs> this? 30. Keep that one for no, yourself. No. And final member of the Plymouth team is Ray. Good evening, Ray. Tell Good. me a bit about yourself. Good evening to you. Uh, I'm a retired commander in the Royal Navy. Um, I've got lots of interest his interest since then and wonder how on earth I ever found time to go to work. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Plymouth team. <laughs> yeah. uh, all the teams are actually competing for this specially commissioned cut glass royal Briley bowl. Mm. And very nice it is as well. Right. Place names round one, Barnstable. Right. Yours, Barnstable, is Lanky. Is it A, Tall trees, the trees there were tall or lanky. Or is it B, key to the land, uh, it is strategically placed and controls the route to Barnstable. Or is it C, holy place of St K, like, like, a, like a Welsh name that we can't pronounce. So uh, is it uh, tall trees, the trees, the trees there were tall and lanky. Is it B, key to the land? It is, is strategically placed and controls the route to Barnstable, or is it C, holy place of St. K? It's like a Welsh phrase that... It's C. It's what? C. It's C. Mm -hmm. Mary from Barnstable reckons Lanky is C. You're correct. Well done. Excellent. Very well done. Hi, Plymouth. Right. Yours is Plimpton. Plimpton, the first one. Is it A? Um, as you can see, up Limit Town, it was the furthest sailors were allowed to go out of Plymouth. Was it B, Village of the Plum, meaning stream, Plym, the town, or C, Big Village, Plump Town? <laughs> Which of those? Plimpton. we go with B. You'll go with B, Village on the Plum, stream, Plym, the town, correct. Right, famous face. I have a famous face for you, Barnstable. Uh, on your monitors and your screens at home, uh, we have zoomed in on the eyes of a famous face. And as we pull back, we reveal more of that famous face. As soon as you've any ideas, the more we reveal, the less points you get. There's the eyes into a cheek. As soon as you know. Shall we try Michael Heseltine? Stop the stop, stop, stop on three. Stop on three, you said? Michael Heseltine. Michael Heseltine, we stopped on three. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. Michael Heseltine. Yeah. Excellent, Mary. Yeah. Very well done. Right, famous face for Plymouth. Right, zoomed in on the eyes once again of a famous face as we pull back, revealing more of that famous face. Five. 
That's four points. Janelle for four points. Three points. Oh, three points. Two points. And for the final point, oh, nope, nope, nope. Right, reveal all the face. Barnstable anxious to have a go. Not a clue. A wild guess then, Barnstable. Bevin. Yeah. Ernest Bevin. Yeah, you're correct. You're right. Four point time. We're not handing points over, though. <laughs> right. Historical, hysterical bite. Uh, it's that part of the program. Malcolm and Terry will give you clues via that little sketch. Uh, this is yours, Barnstable. This is yours. Uh, the little sketch. I'll give you a question afterwards, so concentrate on the sketch that the Westwise players perform for you. I'll give you the question in a moment. Listen carefully and watch closely. Welcome, the Westwise players. Goodness me. Where did you get it from? Where did I get it from? This was given to me by Jerry Hall. <laughs> I'll have you know, <laughs> it was once used Jerry. by Mick Jagger. Oh, just the once. Just the once. <laughs> well, I knew he'd got a big mouth, but <laughs> it's ridiculous, this. No, this... <laughs> This is a genuine piece of antique rock memorabilia. Well, if I was you, I'd take it out and bury it. Your question, Barnstable. I think I've pronounced this uh, correctly. Xenocoit is to be found some four and a half miles west of St Ives. Who or what is Xenocoit? It's a cromlech. It's a? Cromlech. A what? A capstan or cromlech, prehistoric monument. Oh, yeah, I've been around a long time, but I'm afraid to say I didn't have a clue what you were talking about. No, it's a stone burial chamber. Sorry. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Plymouth. Watch your screens closely. Listen carefully, watch closely. Welcome back once again, the Westwise player. What? Oh, Master Brunel. This new design looks magnificent. Certainly one of your best, your masterpiece, if I may say so. What is it to be? Well, this is my revolutionary movable bridge. Is it? You see, it can start in one place and move along the riverbank to another place. Really? Yes. How do you manage to get it to move to another place? Very simple. We fit it with these tiny little wheels at each support. <laughs> right, Plymouth. In his novels, what name did Thomas Hardy give to Dorchester? Ooh. In his novels, what name did Thomas Hardy give to Dorchester? All the clues, all the clues were there. In his novels, what name did Thomas Hardy give to Dorchester? I'll hurry you, because I'm like that. No, All the clues were there yeah. within that little it's sketch. Have a guess? No. Have a guess. Come on, guess. No. You said Colonel Bogey, 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 Bogey Bill. Bogey. Yeah. Bogey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't anything to do with Bogey. It was Casterbridge. Oh, Casterbridge. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Right, our hometown general knowledge quiz on, on the buzzer. On the buzzer, right. All the questions feature your hometown. So, as, as quick as you can. Barnstable, what is the town's motto? <sighs> Mary. Well, it's, 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 it's what? Faith and justice. Faith and justice. Excellent. Yes, that's, that's that one. Very well done. Right, to Plymouth. Approximately how many places overseas are called Plymouth? Approximately how many places? Um, Quickly. Ten, ten, ten. Uh, Eleven. Eleven? No, it's forty, I'm afraid. It's forty. Oh. Barnstable. In 1974, the Royal Air Force at Chivner gave the town the community plate for what is it awarded each year? Services of a general kind to Barnstable, the good works to Barnstable. Um, to the individual or group deemed to have made an outstanding contribution to the community during the previous 12 months? Yeah. Yes, Mary. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Right, Plymouth. Back with Plymouth. Which is the oldest house in Plymouth? The oldest house in Plymouth? Uh, what's called the Pristine House. Excellent, the Pristine House. It is correct. Right, back to Barnstable. What is the uh, derivation of the term Freeman? 
That's a derivation of the term Freeman. Well, he was a... Go on. <laughs> no, carry on. One is given the freedom of the borough for outstanding services, or was given the freedom of the borough for outstanding services. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you, you, could, could, you could be born a Freeman of the borough, too, by, yes. by being a guildsman of the borough. You were supposed to be able to walk through the streets without hindrance. Ah, that, that's, that, that's it, that's it, that's what I was looking for. A man who was free to trade in the town, free of all tolls. Sure. So, without hindrance, yes, or... We give him one for that? Yeah. We give him <laughs> one for that, that's excellent. <laughs> so, at the end of the hometown round, as we leave it for the break, we'll be back in a moment. The scores are Plymouth 2, Barnstable 7. <laughs> After a well-earned break, welcome back to Westwise. When you left us, the scores were basketball seven, and with a lot of hard work, which I'm quite sure they'll be putting in in the second half, Plymouth two. Right, artefacts. Round five is what's the use, Barnstable? No, not what's the use of Barnstable. No, <laughs> an artefact here. I want you to have a look at that. Pass it amongst yourself. Uh, if you don't at home wish to know what it is, look away and then turn back, and you'll be able to see. I think it's got to be Exactly what it is. So, right. We we think it's probably for putting flower bins on to stop insects or mice getting into the top. It's a mouse tile. It's a who? Uh, what? It's a mouse tile. A mouse tile. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Yes. <laughs> well, it's a medieval potter lamp, actually. Oh really? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> very, good try, yeah, very good try. Very good try, Barnson. Glimmer. Yeah. There's something uh, very old, very <laughs> valuable. Please be careful, and I'll be checking your pockets before you go home as well. Have a look at that. Yeah, right, viewers at home? Like yeah, it's one of those things for... Um, no, it's just up on the screen at this very moment. Finding your, uh, <laughs> you know, help in navigation. It's for finding latitudes, longitudes and so on. Mm, yeah. mm. Yes, what is it? Yeah. What is it? Is it? A, a navigational yeah. instrument. Yeah, um, mm. any, any more you can give me? Yeah, uh, trying to find longitude from... From, time, uh, from time and date, etc. Yeah. Time and date. Um, along those sort of lines, yes. Can you give, give me a little mm. bit more? I, I need... Um, sort of early, an early type sextant. Ah, yeah. yeah it was, um, it's, measuring, it's from measuring the angle of the sun from another planet or another... Yeah, the only problem is body this or was used to work out the position of north at night. The sun didn't know it at night, is it? True. Well, it is. It's still there. It's just a bit further around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One point. point for Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. The where are we round, Barnstable? <laughs> I'll be dealing with you later on. <laughs> now, where are we round? On your monitor <laughs> and your screens at home, a small part of a local view. As we pull back, we be, oh, stop the, stop the picture at three. All right, we're stopping the picture at three. Barnstable, what do you reckon? Guild Hall. The Barnstable Guild Hall. The Barnstable Guild Hall. The Guild Hall. Let's have a yes, look. Yes, it is. It's the Guild Hall. It's the Guild Hall. <laughs> Excellent. Right, basically the same for, for you, Plymouth. Um, it'll start off with five points, and as we reveal, we will pull back from a small part. The quicker you can give me exactly what it is, there it is. Armada statue on the hoe. Stop it there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Is that the Armada statue no. on the hoe? <laughs> Barclays Bank, I'm afraid. It's Barclays Bank. Right, the golden oldie round. Yes, it's amazing the little the little pieces yeah. that are in buildings yeah. that you don't really know are there. Barnstable, your golden oldie round. Um, you can see on your screens and your screens at home. Oh, sorry. I need to know basically what's happening. It, yes. It's an event. I need to know the event, basically what's yeah. happening. If you can give me as much uh, information as you can. Yes. It's the horse fair on the Barnstable Strand. Yes, I'm told on Thursdays. <laughs> oh, on Thursdays. Yes. yes, yes, but yes. The horses used to gather there in the, before the the market was built. Um, and that was, in fact, the horse fair. 
the, the, the horse fair. Mm. The horse what, fair. What, what yeah. horse market? What well, year? before before the First World War, sometime before the First World War. Can you give me a date? What what day in May was it? It wasn't in May. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in me. Excellent. That is correct. It's the old horse fair in the st Strand, 1923. Well done. Right, Plymouth. Come on, then. Golden oldie round for you. Right. A picture will come up. Have a good look at that. That's a building. That's a building Salt Ash Bridge. Building of the... The, the Brunel. The Ru Brunel Bridge. No, it's, no, the, it's, building, the, it's the building of the road bridge. The road bridge. In 1961, too. That's right. Next to the 1961. Correct. Zach's got a... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. It's actually the Tamar Bridge. That's right. Yeah. It's the Tamar Bridge. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of local knowledge needed there. 1961. Spot on. Opened by the, the Queen. The Queen Mum in 1962. Queen Mum. Excellent. A historical, hysterical bite. Round eight for you now. Right, Barnstable. Watch your screens. Malcolm and Terry will give you clues via the little sketch. Good friend, this day Mistress Emily hath given me the elbow. <sighs> Thou must choose thy mistresses more carefully. Tis always the same. In love, I let mine heart rule instead of... Which? So the which Somerset Resort, Barnstable, holds a hobby horse ceremony each year on May the 4th. Sorry, Stop. which Somerset? Which Somerset Resort holds a hobby horse ceremony each year Minehead. on May the 1st? Minehead. Minehead. Instead of Minehead. 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 Minehead? Yes. Minehead's correct. Mary, well done. <laughs> right, for the Plymouth team, we once again call upon the Westwise players. Listen carefully, Plymouth, and watch closely as they perform for you now. It must be a name so terrifying that it will drive any villain back onto the straight and narrow. I know. We'll call him the Wogan. <gasps> no! Make it worse. How about the Forsyth? No, perhaps worse still. I've got it. As he's always about carrying his video camera, we'll call him the... What is the caretaker of Tucker's Hall known as? The Beetle. The Beetle! Well <laughs> spotted. The Beetle! <laughs> Excellent, Plymouth. Right, quick fire round for you now. Um, fingers on buzzers and bells. Barnstable with buzz, Plymouth with the bell. Right, first one. Kipling based the literary work. Stalky and co. upon his own experiences at a college in which Devon town? <gasps> Barnstable. Oh gosh, Westwood Ho. Oh gosh, Westwood Ho. <laughs> oh gosh, Westwood Ho's correct. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the last Cornishman to play in a cricket test match for England? Who was the last Cornishman to play in a cricket test match for England? Richard Sharp. Richard Sharp, Plymouth. No, it was Jack Richard. Sorry, wicketkeeper, yeah. was born in Penzance. Good try. On again. Richard. On how many occasions have Somerset won Cricket's County Championship? On how many occasions have Somerset won? Three. Plymouth? Three? They've never won it, I'm afraid. Oh, what a stinker, what a stinker. What is the name of the Dartmoor village where Dartmoor Prison is actually located? Plymouth? Princetown. Princetown, correct. Well done. In 81 and 82, Somerset won Cricket's Benson and Hedges Club Cup in successive years. Name either of the counties uh, of the, what name, name of the counties they beat? Name either of the counties they beat. Plymouth. Middlesex and Essex. <laughs> Surrey and Nottinghamshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, uh, an excellent cry. Do, we, do, do one more, we can stick one more in. Uh, which is the only town in the British Isles with an exclamation mark in its name? Westwood Ho. Oh, Barnstable. Westwood Ho. Westwood Ho. Westwood Ho comes in once again. <laughs> Excellent. Very well done. Right, and the final scores. We'll have a look at the final scores. Plymouth with a racking six, doing really well from their half-time score. And Barnstable, 14. Well uh, the winners go to the quarter-finals. That's it for this week. Join us next week when we could feature a team from your town taking part in Westwise.